This is the video presentation for the Case Introduction to Agriculture, Food, and Natural Resources course. As you view this video, be sure to make notes of important information. Feel free to pause, repeat, and resume the video whenever necessary. The Processes of Science. This presentation provides information about using those skills as a part of scientific inquiry. In the field of science, people explore the world around them. Scientists seek to answer questions and solve problems that are presented to them or that they observe. This process is called scientific inquiry. The basic processes are used in science to answer questions and solve problems. We will discuss each process. Take a moment to think about what you have experienced already today. What sights, sounds, touches, smells, and tastes do you remember? Observation is used in all aspects of science. Scientists use observations to recognize a problem, form a question, collect data, and predict what will happen. Think about the observations that you've made today. Did any of those observations trigger predictions or questions? In order to design an experiment, you must make some predictions or assumptions about what you think will happen. The experiment will then prove or disprove those predictions. A formal prediction is a hypothesis. These are often written in the if-then format. For example, if the temperature decreases, the rain will change to snow. Scientists use observations to classify objects into similar groups. Pause the video while you think of at least three ways to classify or sort these objects into groups. Record the three classifications in your notes. Resume the video when you have finished. A few possible answers include size, shape, color, and number of sides. When you use a dichotomous key, you must make choices about the structure or appearance of the items you're trying to identify. You probably recognize each item in this photo, but you will use a dichotomous key to identify them specifically. Pause the slide as you briefly describe the characteristics of each pictured item in your notes. Resume the video when you're ready to continue. How does each step of a dichotomous key help you to identify an item? The dichotomous key should narrow items into smaller groups until they are identifiable. Precision and accuracy are important when conducting experiments. For, for an experiment to be valid and reliable, you must be able to repeat the procedures. Accurate measurements are essential to successful repetitions of an experiment. Experiments are what many people think of when they hear the term science or scientist. However, experimentation is just one component of solving problems. When designing and conducting experiments, clear procedures allow you to complete the experiment and will also allow others to repeat your experiment. When conducting an experiment, you will collect data. Data can be divided into two categories. Qualitative data is observed information such as color or other physical changes. Quantitative data is measurable, such as height, mass, and temperature. Once you've completed an experiment, you should share your results. This can be done in many forms, such as charts, graphs, reports, and presentations. You have oppor opportunities to practice all of these forms of communication throughout this course. Scientific knowledge does not end with an experiment. Once you have completed an experiment, you will infer what the results mean by analyzing data and forming conclusions. An experiment may raise additional questions. As a review, mark or highlight three key points in your notes that are important to remember from this presentation. List two ideas or concepts that relate to previous knowledge. List any questions you have about this topic. Discuss those questions with your instructor. Keep any notes you have from this presentation organized and available for use throughout the course.